TED Talk. All right, let's talk about topic 1.3, developments in South and Southeast Asia. So keep in mind for this unit, unit one, remember the overarching question, how did states establish and maintain power? So in South and Southeast Asia, what we see is that states like Srivijaya, Majapahit, Khmer, Vijayanagara, they established and maintained power through a combination of economics, geographic location, and religious authority. Um, the Delhi Sultanate is part of this, and that, but that's, that's Dar al-Islam, which is 1.2. That's the northern part of India. Vijayanagara was in the southern part of India, and they're able to maintain power by promoting Hinduism as a dominant religion, and that creates social cohesion and a social structure. And they built impressive architectural structures like the Hampi Temple Complex. Um, but really the strategic location in the middle of the major trade routes like the Indian Ocean allowed them to control a lot of the commerce, which means wealth was really good. Uh, Srivijaya in Sumatra was able to establish dominance over the region, their, their area, by controlling important trade routes between India and China. And then the Khmer Empire in Cambodia was able to expand territory by controlling important waterways like the Mekong River. When you control the water, you can kind of control power. The capital city of Angkor, Angkor Wat, was strategically located at the center of this network of trade routes, which helped make it a major economic hub in Southeast Asia. People stop in and move on. Um, so these strategic locations allowed them to charge fees for ships, taxes and tariffs, traveling through the waters, which helped them build wealth, and wealth means power. Majapahit Kingdom in Java, they maintain their power through bureaucracy. It allowed them to collect taxes and to maintain order within their territories, and they also promoted Hinduism as a dominant religion, which helped them create a sense of shared identity among the subjects. So we got to keep in mind, money and religion, these are really important things that help rulers maintain power. In addition to this, there's a lot of innovations that occur in South and Southeast Asia that boosted state power. So for example, there's a development of irrigation systems. That's something you should remember and you can write as part of your brain vomit in long essay question. That, that increases agricultural production, which increases population growth, and that increases the growth of urban cities, like uh, big cities, and that boosts trade and commerce. So overall, states like Srivijaya, Majapahit, Khmer, Vijayanagara, they establish and maintain power through economic power, through control of trade routes and through strategic locations and the religious authority like promoting Hinduism or Buddhism which create a sense of shared identity among the subjects. They've got innovations like irrigation systems which leads to population growth and urbanization. That's what you need to know in a nutshell.